Alright, welcome back. We are at episode 2 of the Snatcher LP. And of course we last left off, we needed to go meet Harry in engineering to get our equipment to start doing Junker operations. Harry's gotta be back by now. I don't know, he's quite the free willy... Yeah, free willy... free wheeling type. Oh good, oh. Harry's back. Great to meet you. You're uh, Gillian Seed, right? Haven't we met somewhere before? No, I don't believe so. Really? Well, I guess I must be imagining things. Hmm. Let's look at Harry. Hmm. Somehow I get the same impression. Have I met this guy somewhere? What's wrong? Do I have something hanging from my nose? Let's look at the wall. There's a poster and a photograph on the wall. Let's look at the poster. This looks like a poster from the late 20th century. What? You know who she is? You've got good taste for a youngster. Uh, look at the photo. Oh, look at this! A little kid with a bowl cut. It's the picture that was on the wall. It's a photograph of a small boy. That's a picture of me as a kid. It's my only memory of my childhood. Huh. Kind of looks like me if I was Ginger. Okay. Let's investigate Harry. Those are odd work clothes. Let me take a look at those. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> what the fuck was Gillian doing? Mm, poster. This is very old. This kind of printing technology hasn't been used since the last century. Keep your hands off that, will ya? It's getting pretty fragile. Mm, let's look at the photo again. This appears to have been cut out from a larger photo. Hmm. Alright. Let's ask about navigators. I know, I know. All right, allow me to introduce the navigator, which I designed especially for you. Hey, Metal Gear, get out here. Metal Gear? Metal Gear. Introduce yourself. Yes, sir. Pleased to meet you, Gillian. I am Metal Gear Mop 2. I am programmed to be your personal assistant. Metal Gear? That's a pretty weird name. Oh, he's cute. <laughs> uh, thank you. I think he's turning red. I took his basic design and his name from the Metal Gear Menace of the late 20th century. But uh, quite unlike that Metal Gear, this one was designed for peaceful purposes. <laughs> it's such an interesting uh, way to think about it, you know? Okay. Alright. I don't know. Is it just me, or, or is that like the same equivalent of like, oh yeah, you know about that that stuff that happened like 200 years ago? Uh, the, that group ISIS or whatever? Yeah... I decided to name my dog Isis just because it was like, ah, this is a, a nice version of that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it seems funny to me. All right, let's take a look at Metal Gear. There he is. It looks like some kind of child's toy. A toy? I'd be interested to see what kind of toys you had as a kid. Yeah, but he's kind of cute. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, little thing here. The, this little Metal Gear Mark II here, uh, in name and appearance and everything, actually made another appearance later on in Metal Gear Solid 4 as the little thing Otacon and Sunny built that is your little <laughs> little uh, sidekick uh, when you're old Snake that goes around with you. looks exactly like it, has the same name and everything. It's, uh, obviously a clear reference to Snatcher. <laughs> Full bipedal motion system, eh? I don't want anything that's going to slow me down. I wasn't built for running, but in case of emergency... Yeah, in case of emergency? What? Carry me with you. Carry me, well, carry me while you run, please. You can't be serious. Tell me you're not serious. Oh, he's very serious. Okay, let's ask about Metal Gear. Navigators are designed from the start as a Junker's investigative, assist, investigative assistant. On-site detection, analysis, recording, communications, you name it. They're packed with features. And Metal Gear here is the latest model. What about an attack system? Don't they carry any weapons? 
Afraid not. They're unarmed, after all. The main idea behind a navigator is to assist in an investigation of data management. But they do have a save function. Just choose Use Metal Gear Command, and then the Save Command. You can record the exact results of your investigation that way. In the same way, you can use the Use Light Command to help you when it's too dark to see. I told you, they were nice to have around, didn't I? How about communications? Does it have some kind of radio? Yep, there's a video phone installed. A video phone? That's right. Just select Use Metal Gear and then Use Video Phone to access it. In theory, you can use it anywhere, but you have to watch out for some interference. Sometimes the signal just can't get through. Alright, good to know. Alright, let's ask about this fucking blaster. Oh, that's right. Uh, don't panic yourself. I got it right over here. This is your blaster, oh, the official weapon of a junker. Looks fucking beautiful. It's got beautiful. full user feedback circuitry, adjusting itself to your reaction time. In other words, it's just as good as you are. What do you think? Here, see how she feels. It's unbelievably light. <laughs> you bet it is. This ain't one of those ray guns the army uses. She's put together with the latest carbon polymers and ceramics, not affected by heat one bit. And her ergonomic design optimizes both functionality and firepower. Well, what do you think, Gillian? I'll take it. Hell yeah. Let's ask about Snatchers. You're an engineer. Tell me about uh, how the Snatchers are built. It's odd, but we've never been able to get a specimen. They're always stolen or have self-destructed. They have any weaknesses? They're built really well, so it's tough to destroy them outright. Try to immobilize them. They've got some slits on their head for some reason. A well-placed shot there will often destroy their control functions. That's why it's important to practice your marksmanship. Well, I don't need to fucking practice that, because I'm a beast at it. I have a video phone call from Jean-Jacques Gibson coming in. Connecting. Uh-oh. Uh Junker HQ, this is Gibson. I've cornered a probable male snatcher. I'm in the abandoned factory in the M District. Request immediate backup. Gillian, that means you. You better head out right away. Jean needs your help. Oh, shit. We must hurry. We'll use a turbo cycle to travel to the scene. Be careful, Gillian. <laughs> this is a turbo cycle, specially designed for jumper use. In addition to three-wheeled ground travel, it is capable of hovering and high-speed flight. The vehicle is also VTOL capable, so takeoffs and landings in narrow areas present no difficulty. A flying tricycle, huh? I just came in on one of these things. We have been assigned this vehicle for use in our investigations. Well, let's get in. No time to investigate. Let's just do it. We're in the turbo cycle. Operation is computer controlled. Where would you like to go? Let's go to the factory rooms. Now departing for the abandoned factory. Job, and now this. Ace Junker Gibson is cornered a suspected snatcher. I wonder if this guy really is a snatcher. I guess I'll find out now if all that training really paid off. God, this is awesome. <laughs> it's been a while, too, since I've uh, fully played this game. I tried to last December. I was going to play it all the way through because, you know, it's Great to play this through Christmas time because, you know, it takes place during December. And uh, there's some Christmas stuff that pops up in this game too, so. But I only did like the very beginning and then I never continued it, so. This is going to be my most recent full playthrough. You've arrived at the abandoned factory. Would you like? What would you like to do? Uh, let's get out of here. Oh my god. Okay, the music. The sound effects, this art, it's so fucking ominous, it's beautiful. <laughs> We've arrived at the abandoned factory, this is where Jean called from. Let's take a look at the building. It's a battered old factory, judging from its design, I'd say it dates from the period when man production techniques were still used. It appears abandoned. No shit, the abandoned factory is abandoned. Look at the sky. The sky is getting quite dark, it looks like a storm may be coming in area. This place is quite run down. It looks deserted, too. 
Let's investigate the building. It's heavily damaged. It's probably been abandoned since the last century. Damn. There's no sign that anybody's around. Metal, are you reading anything? I can't tell from here. We'll have to move inside. Okay. It has an eerie atmosphere about it. Staring at the sky like that isn't going to bring rain, you know. Oh no! What was that? A male scream. Perhaps something has happened to Jean-Jacques. Gillian, please use extreme caution. I read multiple moving objects within the factory. This could indicate the presence of snatchers or insectors. Insectors? What in the world's that? A spider-like robot used by Snatchers as security devices. Though compact in size, they are armed with needle guns. Use extreme mm. caution. Needle guns. Fantastic. Well, that was a fucking horrifying scream. And uh, that didn't sound very good. So, let's get in there. Alright, we're going in. Keep your blaster ready. Yeah, I, I know how to do it. Anything could happen here you might want to say frequently. Yes, got it. I got it, Metal. So here we go. We can we need to check and see if Jean-Jacques Gibson is okay. Cause that did not sound like it. We've entered the factory. This is the spot where he placed that video phone call. Let's take a look around. There's debris everywhere. Please watch your step. There are, there are pipes running everywhere. I couldn't I, for some reason I couldn't figure if I needed to do Gillian's or Metal's voice. The ceiling looked quite weak. The building is severely damaged. It should be demolished. It's been weakened by rust in several places. Alright, well, that's great. Let's investigate. I scan the area with my sensors, but I can't pick up anything special. Let's listen. It's uncomfortably quiet in here. Alright, let's move on. Oh god. What's this? What the? It's Little John. Little John? <laughs> yes, Jean Jacques Gibson's personal navigator. Little John? No. Okay, look at Little John. Oh no, he's totally fucked. Oh my, Little John's been demolished. There's no way to repair damage this bad. Well, fuck. Look, let's look at little John. This charring indicates he was hit by fire from a laser cannon. Nearly all his circuits are burnt completely through. His functions have been completely terminated. Nevertheless, his memory may be all are, all are partially intact. Where's Gibson? A navigator never leaves his runner's side unless there's a, there's a very serious reason. We have to hurry. Gibson's in trouble. Okay. Let's look at the motion detector. There's gotta be something. Metal, anything on your sensors? No, nothing. We're the only thing moving. Okay, let's let's look at this memory chip. Well, what do you think? Can you get this memory chip out of there in one piece? I will attempt it. Now retrieving memory chip. Memory chip retrieved. Okay. Investigate. Use, all right, use Metal Gear. All right, let's get the analysis on the memory chip results. I'm afraid I can't analyze another navigator's memory. Oh, shit. I have to go back to headquarters to process it. Let's just hope there's something left. All right, well, let's move on for now. Motion detector. Hey, Metal, aren't you picking anything up? No, I'm not getting any reading. Shit. Now let's move on ahead. Doesn't look like there's anything here. Oh, what's that? Wait, there's a figure on the floor. What is it though? Oops. Let's look at the ground. He dropped his blaster here. Let's look at the blaster. It's been crushed flat. This would take incredible strength. All right, let's look at the body. 
Holy shit. Oh, dear God. John Gibson. It's Gibson. My God, his head's been twisted completely off. Oh, shit. Jeez, I wish I didn't have to meet him like this. I can't believe they killed John. He's still warm. That scream we heard was no doubt his. What killed him? His head's been twisted off. He died instantly. It would take incredible strength to do this. There was a key in one of his pockets. Look, Jean's holding something in his right hand. Let's look at... Uh, fuck. It's hair. He's holding several strands of hair. In addition, there's skin tissue under his nails, probably from his scratching... him scratching his attacker. The hair. Now analyzing recovered hair sample. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One. Chromosomal analysis of cells from the papilla and root reveal 46XY. Subject is male. Two. Hair color. Brown. Hair structure reading of 65 indicates European subject wavy hair. Three. Attachment of root structure and thickness of the base of the strand suggest hair was pulled out. Excellent. So we got some proof here. Uh, so he definitely found a snatcher. <laughs> I, can, I think we can safely say. Um, Alright, let's look at that skin sample now. Now analyzing recovered tissue sample. Analysis complete. Results on the display. One. Enzyme antibody analysis indicates subject is blood type O, Rh factor negative. Two. Chromosomal analysis of cells in the sample reveal 46XX. Subject is female. Three. Cell component distribution indicates presence of artificial protein compounds. Four. Number of melanocytes in sample indicates that subject is Caucasian. The results of the analysis strongly suggest that the tissue sample, a cluster of skin cells, was scraped from the subject during a struggle with John. These skin cells almost certainly came from a female European blood type O negative snatcher. Maybe there's more than one snatcher involved. Gibson said I've cornered a probable male snatcher. So, it seems like he came to fucking grips with two snatchers. Okay, what else are we going to look at here? Let's look at the blaster. It's an old type blaster. It's definitely Jean's. It's still warm. He probably fired several shots. Bending a blaster like this is well beyond the strength of any human. No doubt it was a snatcher. Let's look at this key. What is this key for? I don't know of anywhere old keys like this are still used. Anything on the motion detector? Hey, Metal, aren't you picking anything up? No, nothing. We're the only thing moving. Shit. Uh, let's look at the key again. This item is quite an antique. Metal, hang on to this key as evidence, okay? Alright, I'll store it. Let's investigate Gibson. His clothing. Wait, there's a scrap of paper in one of his pockets. Let's look at the paper. It's written on ordinary paper. Search the house. What is that supposed to mean? Who knows? These could be Jean's last words. Metal, keep this as evidence, will ya? Alright, now storing paper scrap in my internal chamber. Anything else? Look at the ground. I don't see anything else special. There's evidence of a struggle on the ground here, but I can't interpret it.
position and the degree to which the food's been digested, we may be able to figure out where Jean's been. All right. Let's investigate what Jean's been eating. Now making incision in Jean's stomach to analyze organic compounds present. Beautiful. Something just ran across that doorway. Snatchers? Unable to confirm. I suggest we investigate. Well, those were definitely snatchers. Let's go. Alright, now moving ahead. It's a dead end. A dead end? Then where did the snatchers go? Hmm. It's blocked by a cave in. We can't go any further. I don't see any way out from here. There's no way we could possibly move this out of the way. That's weird. Then where did those snatchers go? They definitely headed in this direction, didn't they? <laughs> uh, are you okay, Gillian? That's weird. I was fine until a moment ago. Oh. Please, stay quiet. What's wrong, Metal? Maybe it's a sensor defect, but I think I'm picking up a sound off in the distance. Can you hear it, Gillian? That's odd. Seems like my ears are going out on me. Maybe it's due to the change in air pressure. I hear something that sounds like a timer. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go find... I can't hear a thing. Quiet, there, can't you hear it? No. Well, I can, actually. Wait, I can hear something. I can hear a thing. <laughs> Oops. Alright, let's retreat. I hear something like a timer. Turn up the volume on your TV in order to hear it better. <laughs> of course. Hmm, I'm picking up something from the direction of Little John. I thought Little John's functions were totally dead. Hmm. Should we look at Little John? Anything could happen, you should probably save frequently. Now that you mention it, I haven't saved even once since arriving at the factory. Well, we're not gonna save, because we're fucking awesome. <laughs> Alright, now moving back. Oh. Uh-oh. Insectors! I know I've practiced enough of HQ's thing. Here we go. Alright, hopefully that marksmanship is gonna come into effect here. So the Insectors is a weird little thing that they added to this, I I feel anyway, just to kind of like give the game more action probably, I don't know. Like it's really weird, they don't really have any like plot significance at all. The motion reading has vanished. Alright, well we gotta get the fuck out of here already. We're getting out of here! Sorry, I cannot go with you! What's wrong with you? Hurry it up! What on earth are you blabbering about? Let's go! It's gonna blow! Please save yourself! I am paralyzed with fear! Oh, I can't believe this stupid robot! Come on! Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! My ears are really ringing. That's because you left the volume turned up. Damn snatchers. There is no need for concern. 
I have stored all the information about the evidence and the area in my memory. We should return to Junker headquarters. Good work, Metal. All right, well, time to return and report what happened. It's a very sad day for Junker HQ, unfortunately. We've returned to Junker headquarters. Ooh, that was some first day. Now entering the building. We've entered the lobby. Gillian, I heard about Jean. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You performed your duties quite satisfactorily. That's right. It's not your fault, Gillian. Don't worry about it. By the way, the chief is waiting for you. This is the chief's office. Well, Seed, that was a pretty rough first assignment to draw. You made a great effort, though. I've studied the data transmitted back by Metal Gear, so I know all about what happened out there. It's too bad about Gibson. He was a great junker. Seed, I need you to take over for him. You're the only one I've got left who can battle this Snatcher menace. Well, all right. It's a lot to put in my lap, Chief, but I've got no other choice. All right, well, after that, a little solemn <laughs> return to HQ. Uh, we're definitely going to call this uh, a video, and we will continue this in part three uh, after we check out some new shit. So yeah, uh, this was a pretty good stuff. I'm really enjoying this LP so far. Because uh, I'm playing Snatcher. It's fucking awesome. So anyway, join me again on episode three of this beautiful Snatcher playthrough. Uh, for now, we are going to save. Let's save and save one. Save completed. And nope, we're going to finish. <laughs> oh, oof. I completely forgot about that. Because usually I just hit save and then I power it off. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, join me on episode three of Snatcher.